Hi, Hi everyone. Hello. You can't see my t-shirt. Right. My name. My name is Giga. Uh, for today. I'm whoever you want me to be. All right. Wait. What happened to that other girl? What do you do to? <laughs> you know, there's another girl. You you ruined the host. This one with the bob hair. Who are you? Imposter. Oh shit! I'm caught. <laughs> um, I killed her. Oh, you killed her. All right. Hallelujah. <laughs> Okay, what are we going to talk about today? We're talking about MM. You know, guys, who's MM? Not the food MM. Yeah. Uh, we're talking about Marilyn Manson. And also another guy who we'll bring up later. Anyways, I'm sure you all knew what happened to Marilyn Manson, right? Since his fiance um, accused him of sexually abusing her okay. while they were yep. in a relationship. I mean, there is no proof yet. But obviously, the allegations are taken seriously because these are all serious topics. Right, and yeah. Yeah. But there's one other guy yeah. that there was definitely proof of sexual misconduct. Yeah. And it came as a shock because this guy is revered within the Christian community. As many of you know, I'm talking about Mr. Ravi Zacharias, who has passed away, but was found out that while he was alive, you know, he was living a life of uh, sexual misconduct. You know, not just exposing himself, but actually doing things that were much worse than that, lah. All right, yeah. But actually, today we don't really want to uh, talk about them per se, all right? Mm. But we want to talk about powerful men, you know, abusing their power. Yeah. All right. We see a rise of this, you know, not just in Marilyn Manson's case, not just in Ravi Zacharias case, uh, but since the Me Too movement, mm. and even before that, you know, we see more and more cases of powerful men. You know, being exposed, you know, using their position to uh, basically take, take advantage of women, of girls who are, you know, coming into the industry to, to develop their careers. All right. So, uh, what, why, why do you think well, about this? Well, to be honest, la, there are so many causes of things like this happening. One is because ego. It's a known fact that people in general have ego, but men per se have slightly are more egoistic than uh, women compared to women and also could be the influence of media all and right. all this other stuff or even the way that you're brought up these are all possible factors uh, can we prevent stuff like this from happening maybe yes maybe no because we humans are complex you can be brought up the same way as your sibling but you and your sibling can have two different way of seeing things so right. it's really it's really hard for us. Lah. I mean, you can educate them to do better, but it's up to them whether they want to change or not or how they see your education, you know. So, should people like this be punished? Should the punishment be more severe for men like Marilyn Manson and Ravi Zacharias? I don't know. I don't know either. Comments is up to you guys. Yeah. Right. But I mean, it's not just uh, men in power, right, that, that uh, basically... Uh, cause sexual abuse I mean it's men across board You have men who are powerless You have men who are not making much money yes. Men who are working class Who still abuse women Whether it's domestic violence Or whether it's rape Or different case Yeah all Right uh, But I was reading up Something very interesting recently mm -hmm. Alright uh, I mean first of all You know There's, there's, a, there's an obscure verse In the Bible That says that You know uh, Something new will happen mm. You know That at one, at, in, in, in the modern days, in the last days, right, mm. women will rise up. Mm. All right? The feminine traits will become more prominent than the male traits. Mm. Right? And we have to admit that this is the age you know, that we are actually seeing more and more of that. Yeah. Right? But I also read an interesting article on evolution. All right? uh, that, you know, they say that if you domesticate animals, mm. right, you domesticate animals, you find that the domesticated animals will exhibit more feminine traits. Mm -hmm. right? Because in a domesticated situation, feminine traits survive. Mm -hmm. right? in, a, in, a, in a wild situation, right, the masculine traits survive because they need to hunt, they need to be aggressive, they need to fight right, in order to basically stay alive. Yeah. But in a domestic, the domesticated situation, you find that feminine traits, cooperation, love, you know, working together are actually the traits that bring about uh, survival of the species. Oh. Right? And we can actually see, they said that if you, if you look at the faces of 
creatures, dogs, and uh, they have been domesticated, or foxes that have been domesticated, they actually look more feminine oh, right, wow. than those in the wild. Right? And I think it's quite true, right? Because you look at the generation, the faces of guys in the generation today, they do look more feminine compared to this uncle Phil, the face here. I agree, they do look right? more feminine. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, maybe, maybe with the rise of feminism, uh, not feminism, but of femininity, the rise of femininity, you know, even with LGBT, you know, people adopting and, uh, and, 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 and being comfortable with the feminine side. Perhaps, you know, in the next generation or two, we will see a decrease in violence against women. Yeah, yeah. that would be good. Yeah. All right, so we leave this. Oh, we're going to end? Yeah. We leave this short episode today uh, for you guys. We hope that uh, there will be less violence. This is our hope that there will be less violence committed against women. Yes. All right. Bye-bye from Giger. Deuces. Oh, I'm supposed to off. Okay, I off. I off. Okay, I off.